The Machine Gunners by Robert Westall is set shortly after the Battle of Britain in World War II and tells the story of a group of children who find a crashed German aircraft. I thought we were a goner last night, I really did. That dive bomber, I thought it was going to land on top of the shelter. Mrs Spaulding had one of her turns. It wasn't a dive bomber, announced Father with authority. It had two engines. He came down on the rooftops because one of the RAF lads was after him. Right on his tail. You could see his guns firing and he got him. Crashed on the old laundry at Churton. Full bomb load. I felt the heat on me face a mile away. Mother's face froze. Nobody killed love. The laundry's been empty for years. Just as well. There's not much left of it. Chas finished his last carefully cut dice of fry bread and looked hopefully at his father. Can I go and see it? Ah, you can go and look, but you won't find note but bricks. Everything just went. Mother looked doubtful. Do you think he should? Let him go, lass. There's note left. No one exploded bombs. No, a quiet night, really. Lots of our fighters up. That's why you didn't hear any guns. Can I borrow your old shopping basket? Said Chas. I suppose so, but don't lose it and don't bring any of your old rubbish back in the house. Take it straight down the greenhouse. What time's school? said his father. Half past ten. The raid went on after midnight. War had its compensations. Chas had the second best collection of war souvenirs in Barmouth. It was all a matter of knowing where to look. Silly kids looked on the pavements or in the gutters, as if anything there wasn't picked up straight away. The best places to look were where no one else would dream, like in the dry soil under privet hedges. You often found machine gun bullets there, turned into little metal mushrooms as they hit the ground. Fools thought nothing could fall through a hedge. As he walked, Chaz's eyes were everywhere. At the corner of Marston Road, the pavement was burnt into a white patch a yard across. Incendiary bomb. The tail fin would be somewhere near. They normally bounced off hard when the bomb hit.